Hi, I'm Dr. Sneha Tiku from Care IVF Kolkata, Fertility Specialist and Gynecologist. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about ovarian cysts and IVF. If you are somebody who has been planned for IVF and you are suffering from ovarian cysts, you might want to know how the presence of the cyst might affect your IVF treatment cycle. And I hope that I can help you with this topic today. Let me start off by talking about what an ovarian cyst is first. An ovarian cyst is basically a small collection of fluid inside the ovary. So when we look in at, an, at an ultrasound, these cysts will appear like tiny bubbles inside your ovaries. Now cysts can be because of a variety of reasons and I am going to be talking about the cysts that are mostly seen in women who will likely be undergoing IVF, so women in their reproductive age group. Now what are the type of the cysts that we can see in this particular age group of women? The two main kind of cysts that we can notice in an ultrasound before starting IVF is a functional cyst or a non-functional cyst. In the functional cyst, we have corpus luteal cysts or follicular cysts. Now, these functional cysts can have a propensity to secrete hormones. This is another reason why on the day of starting your treatment, your doctor will frequently check for your hormonal levels. If you have a functional cyst but your hormone levels are in the normal range and the size of the cyst is small, say maybe about less than 2-3 to three centimeters, you are good to go ahead with IVF in that particular cycle. However, if while you have a cyst and your hormonal levels are abnormal, say your estrogen is high because of a follicular cyst or your progesterone is high because of a corpus luteal cyst, then it is better not to go ahead with treatment in that cycle or maybe you might be given some injections or medication to bring your hormonal levels down. If the hormones are in the normal range, but the size of the cyst is quite large, say more than about 2 to 3 centimeters, one option that can be done if you do not want to avoid IVF in that particular cycle is called cyst aspiration. In this procedure, you are put under light anesthesia and the cyst is emptied out and then your IVF treatment is started. Now coming over to the other cause of cysts that can happen, that is a non-functional cyst. Now the non-functional cysts, unlike functional cysts, are more or less permanent. They do not vary with cycle to cycle, which is one of the characteristics of a functional cyst. That is, they come and go and usually go away on their own. One of the main causes of non-functional cysts, especially in women who are undergoing fertility treatment, is an endometriotic cyst. So an endometriotic cyst or endometriosis, uh, women who have endometriosis will have these cysts and that can also contribute to fertility issues. Surgery for endometriotic cysts prior to IVF should be carefully considered because any surgery on the ovary, no matter how well done, always has the risk of damaging the ovaries. So you may run the risk of reducing your ovarian reserve, which can affect the success of your IVF. Unless the size of your endometriotic cyst is very large and is causing you issues like pain or it is probably going to interfere with the egg retrieval process, it is not usually recommended to undergo surgery prior to IVF. On the other hand, you have other kind of cysts like a dermoid cyst, which may be required to be removed prior to your IVF because they have a tendency to undergo torsion or twist and can result in an emergency. Smaller sized dermoids, however, can be kept under observation and you can go ahead with IVF even while they are present. One last important thing to remember in cases of cysts in the ovaries is polycystic ovaries. As I have previously mentioned in my other videos, it is important to understand that women with polycystic ovarian syndrome or polycystic ovary cyst, uh, uh, disease don't actually have any cysts inside their ovaries. So there is no question of having to undergo any surgery or to remove these cysts. You can go ahead with IVF irrespective of it. I hope this uh, talk has helped you understand how you can go ahead with IVF when you have ovarian cysts. And if you have any further doubts, please uh, do write down in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. Thank you. Bye-bye.